What's up, beauty girls? Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I feel that my goal is to bring you the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellect to escape velocity. Let's start this day. So I'm here with Sandeep, who is studying com computational sciences here in TU Braunschweig. Um, again, I don't know. I'm here for a very short period of time. I'm, here, I'm going to be walking through the campus just to you know see how the things are as you guys know that I'm, I've already visited Chemnitz and Dresden and in Berlin now um, so he's going to show me where he studies yeah. and uh, we are kind of it's a pretty small it's a pretty small city actually you know if you guys don't know this is how this is where exactly it is on the map um, what is Braunschweig famous for? Okay, it's not like, no, 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 I'm just joking. I, yeah. I'm sure this this university is one of the most prestigious university. It's in TU nine, so I'm sure yeah. this guy's a great deal, you know. No joke. <laughs> Studying in one of the, but anyway, just want to let you know, um, we will be sitting and talking everything in depth. So make sure that you stick till the end. We have a lot of things to show you guys. Oh, that's where it's written. So this is informatic building. Yeah, informatic building. Informatic building. It's written there. Technische Universität Braunschweig. Okay. Where do you study? Uh, we'll actually go straight and uh, that is the uh, bibliothek. So okay, like a library. Yeah, library. Okay. And, uh, the main campus is this building. It is called Piketty. We're going to reach there. Yeah, it's very near. So, so this is all part of campus. Yeah, this is all part of campus. Every building here is a university building. This is also one um, uh, yeah, many institutes. In each building, there are many institutes, not a single institute. Right, so, right. Um, you cannot actually categorize one building as belongs to that institute. Uh -huh. So almost every building in this street is belongs to university. So we are currently going to uh, Alte Gebäude, that is one of the oldest building of TU Braunschweig. That is the you know initial building which was made when they started TU Braunschweig in 1700s. Wow. So this is one of the oldest university in 1747 or something. So, yeah, and uh, you can see that is a tall building, that is... Uh, yeah, that's what you will see in most of the advertisements yeah. on the YouTube also. So there are almost uh, seven to eight institutes in that building. Seven to eight, eight institutions? institutions. Yeah. Wow. And uh, we all have, in, in each and institute, in each and every institute, it's not that we only have the, you know, classrooms and all, the labs are integrated. And uh, I know one of the institute, it is called Institute uh, Fuge and Schweizer Technique. Okay. Where we have huge equipments, uh, huge machinery. Uh -huh. Where students not only sit in the classrooms, but they go out of the classroom. And just beside the classroom, there is a big, you can imagine it's a factory. Uh, uh -huh. The machines, the, the extent of machines are huge. And you can do very big testing on these machines. Uh -huh, okay. So here in the universities, the education is integrated totally. Yeah. yeah. Out of curiosity, I just want to know, I'm sure a lot of people would want to know, in a month, a student, how much does he spend, including everything, by food, accommodation, insurance, and internet connection? 550 euros. I'll be around, in, the, in every month, I'll be spending around 550 euros, uh, or 500 to 550 euros per month. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Cool. This I'm sure. Uh, what we're gonna do is, since he spoke about the uh, accommodation, I'm also gonna take you guys to his uh, place. And uh, he also has a roommate. He's from Gujarat. That's what he said. Uh, probably we're gonna cook some food, get to know them, um, sit down and talk more about what do they study here, what kind of subjects are there, uh, what did the process like. One of the things what I liked about Sandeep is. He has immensely been persistent when he was trying to uh, trying to come to Germany. You'll get to see that in the video when we sit down and talk. Okay, this looks like a university now. What is this? Uh, I'll take a boy there. Okay. The very first building which was constructed, you can see the university. I'll take a boy there. Board. Ha, huh, yeah, it says here, so right old, here. Old main building. Like here. Yeah. Yeah. Old main building, yeah, yes, and correct. We have Sprachen's room inside it, and mini classrooms. And is this where you come? Yeah. Is this where you come and study? Uh, this is the place where I study. That is called the Bibliothek Library. Oh, here, and okay. It's huge. This one. Yeah, you have three floors and. Um, yeah, are there any classes also inside? Uh, no, it's a big library. It's a library, right? Yeah. Okay. Where do you library. study? Uh, where I attend classes is yeah. uh, 
it's you know there is no specified building ah okay got it so just like regular to you things exactly one in this the other one in some other right. course yeah. okay okay so literally we have to run from one place to other place sometimes uh -huh. so we get in nets after the class and we run from one class to other building with the help of cycle or yeah <laughs> okay wow so this is a main building right yeah this is the main building so we started walking from that's the building we just showed you yeah. we walked all the way till here and now this is one of the and this looks is called, like what is this this is called house television shop okay and it is like an international building uh, the registration process uh -huh. and uh, getting your ids your email ids everything you have to go into the office and uh, wow so first day when i come i have to go here yeah Ah. and to process anything you have to go here but there is other building where computational sciences of engineering office is located it is called CSE office and we are currently in Pokelstrasse and uh, that building is um, Bidovenstrasse it is called so it is pretty far from here and uh, yeah uh, but this is the most important building I can say as far as Steve Braunschweig is concerned yeah. and there is also a museum besides this uh, international office okay so, uh, I have not been inside the museum any time but you know when you come here for the first time uh, in the first semester you get bunch of tickets where you can go to movie uh, and different concerts and museums everything so you need not pay anything and you get bunch of tickets but cool, we, man. we barely get time to do you know to have some fun well it's a trap you know semester. We want to give you fun, but <laughs> yeah, I at the cost of studies, no. Terms and conditions. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the center right now. Yeah. Study service center. Let's go ahead. So, yeah, so it is called so uh, Natural, uh, Natural Historical Museum. Okay. And, uh, I have not been inside, but uh, they have some special offers sometimes where we can uh, have a look at and the ticket is around 6 or 7 euros, I guess. And yeah, you can see the... Oh, that's stars, so huge! The, the dinosaur right next to this building. <laughs> this university building. Yeah. Yeah. We had to rush quickly to get into the bus. Uh, we're going to his accommodation now, where I'm going to show you his room and uh, his roommate. All right, guys, we reached to the accommodation. What area is this? Um, this is your student in work, I guess. Yeah, this is student in work. Uh, okay. This is called APM. Okay. So this is called Hamburger Strasse. And uh, okay, so this is a Hamburger yeah, Strasse. Hamburger Strasse here. Uh, I can say this is one of the closest accommodation to the university. Yeah. And uh, just it's five minutes to the bibliotheque or the main building of the university here. Okay. And uh, we also have the Asia shop opposite to it. Asian shop. What yeah. do you get? Chilies, green chilies, red uh, chilies. <laughs> <laughs> almost everything, but uh, not really. Do so you get masalas? Yeah, we get masalas everything. Ah. So I feel lucky staying here. Uh, yeah, it's a bit a bit costly, but uh, it's luxurious. How much? Uh, Maximum it may cost around 400, 356 euros. Okay. I was staying in 356 euros accommodation uh -huh. for one one semester, six months, and then I cannot afford 356 euros, so I just moved on to some new room. It's, it it cost me 290 euros for me now. What is the average price of an accommodation for a student here in uh, it's Around 250 euros. 250 euros. Yeah. In most okay. of the accommodations you get 250 euros. It's like four shared, and uh, you have to share the kitchen. And if you are lucky enough, you get an individual bathroom. <laughs> huh? Yeah, okay. So Can we see your room? Yeah, definitely. Sure. Should we go now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, lucky. How many floors is this? How many floor building is this? It keeps on building. I keep decreasing from 64 to 61. Uh huh. And uh, so here it's I think six floors or mm -hmm. eight floors, mm -hmm. and there it is ten floors. So they have built in such a way that it keep on decreasing the whole. Ah, okay, whole okay. Yeah. All right. We don't find really many people here. <laughs> 
Wow, this looks luxurious. Is this from student in work or a yeah, private accommodation? Wow, man. Yeah. This completely differs from city to city. Yeah. Okay, to be honest, I, s I smell dull. Yeah. I think my friend had already cooked something. <laughs> Hi, uh, what's your name? Uh, I'm Vishal from Gujarat, India. Are you Maja Majo, Motawai? Yeah, you're not from Gujarat also. No, I'm from Mumbai. Okay, yeah. But yeah, we yeah. just kind of speak, you know. Yeah, yeah. Ekdam Maja Majo. Maja Majo, Suche, Danda Lena, Maruche. Jalsa! Saras Motawai! Okay, okay. So, um, do you want to show around the room a bit? Yeah, definitely. Can either of you give me like a show round of a room? If a person who thinks of coming to TU Braunschweig, mm -hmm. how a normal typical room would look like? Is this, first of all, I've already cleared with him that this is a student in VEC, yeah. right? Okay, mm -hmm. so just show me around. So what do you get in the kitchen? Um, and yeah. what did you brought from India as a utensils? Because a lot of people have questions like, yeah. should they bring utensils or masalas? or anything related to kitchen? Uh, I'll suggest uh, to have a good pressure cooker first of all because so this thing is what we don't get here. <laughs> okay, so they can bring this, yeah? Yeah. Okay, what else and did uh, you get in the kitchen? These things and all, I bought it from here itself. It's waste to There's a rajma inside. Yeah, it's a rajma. <laughs> <laughs> so many okay. people uh, get this from India which is very heavy to carry. And the container, so, right? Yeah. So they can buy it here? Yeah. From Woolworth? We have a IKEA, uh, yeah. Okay. IKEA, and it's like 19 euros, it's worth. What you get it? very good quality. Yeah. Things, yeah. Correct, correct. What else? like? And you get the microwave oven here in the student and work. Uh huh. And uh, actually, many student and work have back oven. Ah, yeah. Which is better, like, yeah, it depends. So, so you'll have some other oven, definitely. What about plates, spoons, basic? Necessity? Do you get it by yourself? Yeah, I mean, or do they give some basics? I bought here? many steel plates and. Um, you bought steel plates from here? No, from India. India, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So some utensils I bought from India, some steel utensils because I'm really not habituated to use uh, ceramic vessels everywhere. Okay, but do they provide anything here in this no, room? They no, they don't provide anything. So you have to buy Definitely. basic the necessities. Yeah. Okay, all right. You only get the platform. You get the. Stuff and you get the fridge, yeah, and then your fridge yeah. is inside. Okay, yeah. oh, you have a fridge inside, yeah. Um, by the way, this room is actually for two people, so two people can easily share that kind of Definitely. just walk us yeah. around. How much is the size of a room? How much do you pay? Yeah. And how did you get this? Was it difficult, etc.? Mm. etc. Actually, it was a little bit difficult for me initially, okay, because I already applied for student, uh, student and Bonheim, but initially, they told me that it's not possible for me to have a room. Uh -huh. But afterwards, I don't know, somehow they managed to have, like, uh, they told me that it's not, right now it's available, so you can have it. But it took almost a month for me to have a room. A one month? Yeah. So it's better to apply as soon as possible you got admission. In okay. The university. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And regarding the room, this is one of the biggest room in this uh, student in Mohanheim. Okay. But uh, space as well as rent is also high for, like, in Brownsbank City. It's Correct. Around 360 euro per month. Man, we get that kind of room in Berlin. Okay. Yeah, you know, compared to Berlin and Braunschweig, like Braunschweig is compared to yeah, far yeah. more smaller city, right? Yeah, I guess I would say it is one of the costliest room in Student and Bonheim. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Yeah, but uh, I would say it's not that much. This room is spacious, no doubt, but it's not, uh, I mean, worth of spending this much of money. Uh -huh, so correct. I would suggest you that apply as soon as you've got admission in the university so right. that you'll have cheaper rooms available. Correct. Yeah. Okay, and what, what, what do you get in the room, by the way? Like, what I else things? Have, like, study table. Okay, this is a study of, table here, right? Yeah. Here. Uh, you'll have a bed. Uh -huh. Without mattress, you'll have to purchase from somewhere. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay. Actually, the student in work uh, provides you mattress if you want. It uh -huh. costs around 55 euros. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you yeah. have to pay extra. Okay. <laughs> So, do they ask you when you are booking the room, like, hey, do yeah, you need yeah, a mattress? They ask me, or after uh, getting a room, they ask you? No, no, actually, they asked me at the time of booking the room, but one of my friends had already mattress extra. Oh, well, so you so bought it from him? Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, so you saved 55, 50 euro, basically, from yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah. so 
you get bed, you get study table, you get this big cupboard here. Yeah, cupboard. It's quite spacious, it looks like, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's very big. And yeah. even your room is like how many square meters? Like 15? Yeah, approximately, yeah, 15 square meters. 15 square meters, it's quite huge actually, yeah. to be honest. Uh, um, yeah, there's like study table. Um, by the way, this is like a huge, big ass heater. <laughs> what you see, that's why he's put his towel there, which is getting warm. <laughs> Yeah, this is called Jugard. <laughs> this is called Jugard. <laughs> yeah, because here we, we hardly get sun, right? That's why. All right. Um, can we, Sandeep, can you show me your yeah. room? So this is where the passage is actually. So yeah. you guys saw the kitchen, what I just showed you. That's where his room is. And now we are going on the other side. Yeah. A, this is a quite small room, by the way. Small room. But how much do you pay then? I pay 289 euros per month. 289, okay. And you also got like this study table here. Yeah. Generally, the table and the cupboard are removable. You cannot move to other place. So they have constructed building. That's they sacrificed some place because that's of this. seriously, yeah. So the design was awkward a little bit, and the bed was also removable. You cannot move the bed anywhere. Okay. Even the cupboards, everything is fixed. Uh huh. Literally. Yeah, them. shift around yeah. in the in the room, like his room. Yeah. All right, so once we are done with this, I'm actually gonna sit with them and have an interview. So, so as usual, what I normally do is I get to know their journey so that a lot of people like on the other side can be helpful and learn a lot of their, from their mistakes. So these two boxes, what you see right here, are actually bought by <laughs> Vishal. <laughs> uh, it's like 47 kg. Yeah. So he got 47 kg of parcel from India recently. Yeah. And I also asked Vishal to get some things. And we don't feel... Because, you know, in Germany, you'll always miss Indian food. So, like, what is this? This is a fat <laughs> box. <laughs> like, filled with... So, I think kind of, you know... Kakra. Yeah. Oh. Kind of... It's a Dokla... Uh, oh, Gatia, Gatia, right? Gatia, what am I? What am I? Oh, my God. Maggie, Maggie okay. masala Maggie. You don't get it here, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. but in Indian restaurants, we get Indian stores, we get it, right? But yeah. they sell it for, of course, high price. Yeah. Like, okay, so what are we having now? Yeah. Yeah, you can see here, uh, <laughs> kind of Indian, all Indian masalas, snacks. Yeah, by the way, I had a question. So, so yeah. wait, this is for people. Uh, should they get get masala from India, or they can yeah. buy it here in the Indian store? Yeah, if, for example, if you're coming from Germany and uh, from India, then it's always better to bring as much as you can. Masalas, okay. Yeah, masalas. The masala masalas. quality in Germany is not really good. Uh, the local masalas, what you get, will be really good quality. Yeah. So I'll suggest get some idli and those are you get ready-made packets. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, rice, you can buy, but it's still costly. But don't get too much rice, guys, because I know Sangbai is getting 10 kg of rice. Uh, come on, when you are getting 23 kg of bag and if exactly, you yeah, you can accommodate rice. something else more meaningful things which you can. Exactly. Rice can be bought here, right? Yeah. Like if you go to Aldi, if you guys yeah. do, you guys have Aldi, Aldi yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Aldi has like the most cheapest. I think it's one yeah. point something, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So that's what I want to ask. Like, yeah. And you should also get a sufficient chana dal and all because you don't get it here. Tur yeah. dal and all, and then uh, ready-made mix of. Idli dosa yeah. and dukla, what we yeah. have. Really some of this, no? this kind of packets. packets. It's always better. It's MTR, kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. It's MTR. Idli, yeah, idli packet of MTR. Oh, wow. Rava idli. Yeah. <laughs> nice, man. You guys like, whoa, this is. Let's have some. Yeah. We are almost done making dosa. Um, here it is. So this is a dosa. Uh, we're gonna have this with what? Uh, some chutneys, right? Some pickles. Yeah, this is from uh, Tamil Nadu. One of my friends from Tamil Nadu he bought this. Okay. And what is it? A pickle? Yeah, it is called uh, vatal with some bo. I cannot spell it. Ah, okay, okay. So it is very tasty, and I also have mango pickle. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, kind some kind of pickles which I bought. Can you bring pickles in your bag, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I've never bought that, so I don't know. Yeah. I bought kind of 8 kg of pickles when I came here. Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of a... But is it not considered like in a... Because it has a liquid in it. They only uh, allow yeah. a certain amount of liquid. There is something called NRA packing. Ah, so okay. They do that two or three packs. The bite cover, the bite cover which is very thick. And got it, got uh, it. yeah, it's gonna sustain. No worries. Ah. 
I just got down there um, from the bus uh, from Berlin. Uh, this is where, right next to the bus stop, uh, this is a Braunschweig uh, Hauptbahnhof station. So since it's a small city, um, you know, of course, it's a one thing what I like about Braunschweig is it's not like Chemnitz. It's more of a Western Germany, you know, a bit more developed. Yeah. Tell me positive about Braunschweig, please. Uh, you have a lot of scope to learn German here. Yeah. yeah. And uh, population is less, and the trams and buses are really empty most of the times. And uh, because I've been to Hanover, Hamburg, and Stuttgart, these hubbunners are completely filled up, and you don't get place to sit down most of the times. People are very nice, even in the institutes and universities. Even the professors are very nice. Yeah. So uh, you would you would say that you would encourage students to come here instead? Definitely. Yeah. If yeah. you are motivated to uh, take the pain of, it's not a pain. Are you ready to take challenge, move out of your comfort zone, and do something extraordinary? I'll definitely recommend you to come to Braunschweig and experience the wonderful education they are offering. Cool. I'm very uh, proud to be. Uh, student here and I'll be grateful to Germany for offering this offer to me. Cool. Take it. That was quite positive, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man, for everything what we did Thank today. You. Thank you for uh, giving this opportunity to share my experience. And uh, I really want you to come to Berlin. Definitely. We're gonna hang out. Yeah. Probably we get to make a video one more time. Yeah. Uh, and we can talk a bit more about studies and uh, yeah, I can show you Berlin. Yeah. Alright. For now, just take it easy. Bye-bye.